This is part five of the advanced features of how to do processing using the SQL select statement and it's a part of the information technology grade 12 CAP syllabus. Now just to remind about the database that we are using, we're using a CD database which has a CD table which has the following details. In this video we're going to look particularly at the artist field and we're just going to be doing some text manipulation on that artist field. So in SQL we've got these string functions which you can use and they work pretty much the same as the string functions or text manipulation functions that you get in Excel. So if you understand what we're doing here you'll be able to use them in Excel as well. So let's have a look at some of these. The first one we're going to look at is the left function which takes whatever field it is, takes two parameters, it takes the artist field in this case and it says a number after it. That tells how many characters from the left do we want to copy. So that's what it's going to display. So let's look at that in an example. Here we have a query, select artist from CD and what we're going to do is we're going to copy from the left of artist and we can specify any number and that will be the number of characters from the left that it's going to copy. So I'm going to say that artist, com so say three and we're going to give it a name as, what can we call it? Uh, we just call it left three. It's a terrible name but it'll work in our instance. So if I run this example we will see that the artist is there and then here it has the first three letters of the artist. Now you might say there's only two for the first one but remember that it's LL and there's a space. So it gives us the first three letters of all the artist names. So left will give us the first three or first number of characters however many we want um, but we also have a function called the right function which takes any characters from the right side and moves that many characters back. So in this case it'll take the last three characters of the artist's name. So let's apply to our example. So back to our example we're going to add a new field called right of artist and we're going to take the last three letters and we're going to call this as right three. And if you run it there we can see this is our new field that we've created and the last three letters, in this case L space J is over there, I N D, so it's the last three letters of the artist name is recorded in this particular field. So we can copy from the left and we can copy from the right, but what happens if there's something in the middle that we want? Well, we've got a function for that and that's called the mid function but it takes three parameters and the reason is because we take the field that we want to copy from then we say which character do we start copying from so in this case we're starting to copy from the third character and then the next f uh, number that we provide as a parameter is how many characters from that third character must we copy so that is the same as if we copy the third and the fourth character because it starts at position three and copies for two places. In other words, it copies position 3 and it copies position 4 because that's two characters. So a reminder, it takes in the field that you're copying from. The next number is where we start in which position do we start copying from and the last number is how many characters do we need to copy in total. So we have our left and our right and let's go make our mid. So mid of artist, but in this case remember there are three parameters. We're going to start copying from position 3 for two characters. And we'll call this as middle. If we run it, there we go. Let's look at this example particularly. It copies from position 3 for two characters, which ends up being the last two anyway. But if we took Green Day, for example, position 3 would be there and it copies for two characters. And that's why we have an EE in the middle. The next function that we're going to learn is the len function, which is short for length. That just tells you how many characters are in that particular field, and that only takes one parameter. So if we go back to our example, we've got the middle. Let's add len of artist, and we're going to call this as number of characters. We run it there we can see it returns a number and it returns how many characters are in that particular field
and the last two functions we're going to learn is the u case and the l case and if you've probably guessed it it's for uppercase and lowercase uppercase takes whatever the text is and puts it all into capital letters and the l case takes all the text and converts it to lowercase so that it's in small letters so if we're going to add another field here well, let's actually just go take our artist over here. We're going to take artist and we're going to put a U case and then put it in brackets, the artist. So then it should display the artist in uppercase. You'll notice that because we've just put uppercase on the artist, doesn't mean it affects the other functions. It's just converting that for this particular field. It'll be probably a good idea to put a nice as there. But we're not going to do that. We're going to go and apply the lower case, which is just the L case, which puts all the artist letters in lower case. So let's run it. There, there's small LL cool J. So these are all small letters. So to recap, we've got left, which copies from a particular field for how many characters from the left or the first characters there is right which copies from a particular field and then how many characters from the right it copies or in other words from the back then we've got the mid function which copies from an, a particular field and it starts at the first number that's the position that it starts copying from and the second number or the third parameter is how many characters we should be copying so is it two characters or three characters and then we did the len function which is the length or the number of characters that are in that particular field and then we have uppercase and lowercase which are called u case and l case for the other videos in the series as well as other sql basics and other delphi videos please go to our channel subscribe like we'd love to hear from you also follow our twitter account and then you can find out whenever we post new videos and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way the examples from today's video come from the grade 12 Delphi eNotes that were created by study opportunities. These are available in 2014. From 2015, they will release a textbook which will cover the entire grade 12 CAP syllabus. If your teacher is interested in purchasing these textbooks, they can contact them at the following website.